Professor Burger, those are really nice balloons. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, and, and notice that, that I have some balloons. Yeah. But sadly, you have none. It's true. But how about this? I'd love to give you my balloons. Here. Really? Sure, sure, sure. Here you go. They're all yours. Oh. And now, you have some balloons. And you have none. Exactly right. And you know what's kind of cool? That's exactly what I want to share with you. Really? Some and none. Should we take a look? Yes, please. Because you see, none means that you don't have any. And there's actually a number that means none. And that's called zero. <laughs> and some means more than none. Oh, okay. So let's take a look at a little riddle together. So if Ryan has some marbles and Yolanda has zero marbles, can we tell who has more marbles? Oh, let's find out. Great. Okay, so let's take a look. So Ryan has some marbles. That means more than none. Let's just say he has three. Okay. So, okay, so now he has three marbles. So here I go. I'm going to bring in his marbles. You can see them. They're blue. One, two, three. So there are three. Now Yolanda has zero marbles. That means none. So she doesn't have any marbles at all. So if Ryan has three and Yolanda has none, the question is, who has more marbles? You tell me, Jeannie. Well, Ryan. Exactly. Ryan has more marbles because some always means more than none. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. So, Professor Berger, I have some balloons and you have zero balloons. That's exactly right. <laughs> you have none. That's right. Oh, oh, and now here, take these. Oh, do I get to keep them? Yep. Oh, thank you. Now you have some and I have none. That's exactly right. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh. And, and then, then there, there were none. none. Have fun thinking about math. We'll see you soon. Can we go get more balloons? I think we have to, don't we? Yes! <laughs>